Hello everyone, welcome to this class. Today we have this math challenge for us here. Uh, the question is y to the power of 10 equal to 10 to the power of y. Find three real roots to this challenge here. Okay, so if you look at this question, you discover straightforward 10 is one of the three real roots here. But how do we get the other two roots is the aim or the essence of this video. So if you're new here and you've not subscribed, Subscribe. This is online math TV. Here we release math solutions all the time for our learning. So let's go into today's challenge. So take our solution. Right. So take our solution here. Now, here we want to make why the subject of the formula first. In other words, let's remove this uh, power here, which is 10 here. So we multiply the uh, exponent or the power of both sides by a 1 all over 10. So if we do that, this is going to give us here our y to the power of 10, the bracket all to the power of 1 all over 10. This is also 10 to the power of y all to the power of 1 all over 10. Okay? Now, what happened, this will go with this. And so we we'll left with our y will not be equal to, and immediately we take the root of any quantity because this denominator here is even that we introduce our plus minus for the system okay so we're going to have here plus minus our 10 we can use this to multiply this so this is going to give us y all over 10 so yeah we have two cases from this expression here we have the positive one and the negative one so let's take case one which is for the positive one so we have here case one all right so from case one we're taking our y equal to our 10 to the power of one sorry y all over 10 here so how we solve for our y in these regards yeah we'll make use of the lambda wn function but how do we manipulate the system to uh, give us an expression that we enable us to evoke the lambda wn function it is easy here yeah, let's make the right hand side of the equation to be unity in other words let's divide through by 10 to the power of y all over 10 equally divide this side by 10 to the power of y all over 10 so this this will leave to give us here one one so we now have our y all over 10 to the power of y all over 10 this is equal to 1 okay let's continue here so what do we do next here now look at this expression here now we want to rewrite the expression at the denominator here we all know that here if you have your, your e here to the power of um ln of a star this will give us equal to a star. We all know this, right? So we want to make use of this rule here. We want to rewrite this denominator, bringing e to the power of ln. So from here, we're going to have this to be our y all over our e r to the power of ln of 10 r to the power of your y all over 10. Let's turn this down. Okay? So we have e to the power of ln of 10 so let's bring this, put this in bracket, everything here equal to 1, yeah. So this is what we're going to do here now. Now, according to the law of um, a logarithm, it says that if you have your, um, if you have your ln, you have ln of, let's take our a, or to the power of b, then it says that move this, this side of the equation to give us here, our b times the ln, of our a yeah we all remember this law right so we're going to make use of this law in this pressure yeah so in doing that we want to move the whole of this power which is this power here down to this side here so we're going to have our y take our y all over our e or to the power of our y all over 10 then into the ln that's times ln of 10 bracket everything equal to our one here okay so we look carefully 
We can rewrite this expression we have here now to give us here Ry all over 1 times our 1 all over our e r to the power of y all over 10, then ln of our 10 here. Okay? Equal to 1. Now look at what we have here now. We can eliminate this 1 and this division sign here. Okay? This is our division sign. We can eliminate this 1 and this division sign. So how do we do that? According to the law of indices, the whole of this exponent will take a negative sign. Why this goes up? So we're going to have this to be y times our e r to the power of minus y all over 10, then ln of 10, close bracket, everything equal to our 1. Yeah. Okay. So now let's look at this. I said something earlier on that we, we make use of the Lambert WM function. Before we can evoke that, we must make sure that here we have our power here, which is the exponent, same to the base we're going to have here. All right, so from here, what do we do now? We have to uh, look into our Lambert WM function. It says that if you have your, um, let's say you have your, you have your star, then times e all to the power of a star, and you take the Lambert WN function, then this is going to give us a star. Okay, so this is the um, product log. All right, so from here, what do we do? Let's see how we can make the base, we want to make the base here to be same as this. And the only difference between um, this power here or this exponent and this is that there is minus one all over 10, ln of 10, right? Yeah, so we have to, Multiply both sides of this equation by minus 1 all over 10, ln of 10. So multiply by that, we're going to have our minus um, 1 all over your 10, then ln of 10, right? Then times our y here, then times our e or to the power of our minus y all over 10, then ln of 10, close bracket everything equal to because we are multiplying this left hand side by minus one all over 10 ln of 10 then we equally do that to the left hand side which is going to give us minus our one all over 10 then ln of 10 also okay so what we do here now we cannot rewrite this so this cannot give us here our um, minus y all of our 10, then ln of our 10, close bracket, then times our e or to the power of minus y, all of our 10, then ln of our 10, then equal to our minus of our ln of 10, close bracket, all of our 10. So easy. So according to the uh, Lombard NW function, look at what we have here now. So what we have at the exponent, same thing we have at the base here. So that implies that we can invoke the lambda w function to this expression here. So doing that, this is going to give us here our wn, right? The bracket minus y all over 10, then ln of 10 times our e to the power of minus y all over 10, ln of 10, Equal to, let's close this bracket first. Equal to, we also take the number LW function of our minus ln of 10, close bracket, all over our 10 here also. So, with what we have here, we're going to come up with just this. So, we're going to have this to be minus our y all over 10, then ln of 10, close bracket, everything equal to, yeah. We still have this to be bracket minus ln of 10, okay? Then close bracket all over 10. All right. So we are looking for y here. So what we do, we divide through by minus ln of 10 all over 10, okay? So let's divide this by minus the ln of 10 here all over 10. Equally divide this side by minus ln of 10 all over 
exchange. So this we go with this. This this will leave the system. Then we can rewrite this expression here also by eliminating this major division sign, right? So what we do, we flip this over this constant. So this is going to give us here our y will now be equal to our, our minus let's take a minus 10 all over ln of 10 right there into our wn there into minus ln of 10 with bracket into our major bracket here all over 10. okay so this is the value of our y that will satisfy this equation but what uh, the uh, numerical value has gone from here. We have if the line solution to this system here. But we have to choose our n wisely here so that we get our um, uh, real root from here. So if we pick our n to be zero, so we have here for n equal to zero. What would be the value of this? So we're going to have our y will now be equal to minus 10 all over ln of 10. Here, okay, there. So our w not close bracket minus ln of 10 close bracket all over our 10 here. So if you impute this into your Wolfram upper calculator, you're going to get some figures for that. And I've done that already. So let's go ahead and uh, bring the numerical value from uh, these uh, function we have here. Okay. All right. So with my Wolfram upper calculator, I have my y to be equal to um, have bracket minus 4.34 right two nine uh, uh, four four da da dash uh, bracket that's times uh, minus zero point three one five one zero eight da 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 dash all right so where we put this Two numbers together. If we multiply these two numbers together, we're going to have that to be um, 1.371288. So let's continue on this side. So if we multiply these together, we're going to have our y1 will now be equal to 1.371288. Da, da, da. So this is the first value for our y. That to satisfy this equation aside 10. Okay, so from here again, um, from here, we have to look for our uh, second root from here. Now, if we plug in n equal to 1, that will give us imaginary root. Remember, we are looking for the real root here. So we plug in n minus 1. So from here, we now say for n equal to minus 1, we're going to have our equation. So be our y2 is equal to minus 10 all over the ln of 10 uh, close bracket into our w then minus 1 into our minus ln of 10 right uh, close bracket all over our 10 in here okay so so from here this is easy if you put this into your work from upper calculator the simple answer is going to give you is 10. But this is how you get you have your 10 all over the ln of 10 here, right? Into our minus your um, ln of 10. Yeah. This is what we're going to have from your system. And so this, we go with this. This goes with this. So we have our y2 is equal to 10. This is the obvious answer I said the other time that many looking at this, you discover that 10 is um, one of the roots, one of the real roots to this challenge here. So let's keep uh, these two real roots we've gotten. So from here, let's keep here our y1 is equal to, we have here 1.37128. Uh, there, y2 is equal to our 10, then Let's look for the third one. And to get the third one, we're going to consider case two. You remember case two, right? Okay, so let's go into case two. So let's consider our case two. We have our case two. Now our case two, it will give us y will be equal to 
um, we have minus our 10 or to the power of y all over 10. Okay, so here yeah, we're going to use the same technique we apply in the first one. And we're going to get the same answer. The only difference is that here will be positive. That is just the difference. So if we apply that same procedure, we're going to have our, let's take this as our y3, now be equal to minus 10 all over the ln of 10, yeah, right there into our w n the into positive ln of 10 close bracket all over or close bracket all over uh 10. this is 10 please okay so this is just the difference just this minus here is positive all right so you want to consider the first uh root from here where we're going to take our n to be zero so we have here for n equal to zero what will be our answer here we're going to have y3 is equal to minus 10 all over ln of 10 with bracket the w naught the into our ln of 10 the close bracket all over 10 with bracket here now if you impute the install your work from alpha calculator which i have done already you're going to have the figures so we're going to have this to be our bracket minus 4.342 my four four da, da, dash there times zero point one nine zero three four eight da, da, dash okay so if we multiply this out we're going to have this to so be minus zero point eight two six six seven one okay so this is our y three our y3 will give us this and this is also a, a real root to the system so from here what is our y3 the third root here we're going to have y3 is equal to we have minus 0 0.0.82 0 .6, 6, uh, da, 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 da. so these are the three roots that will satisfy this original equation okay so this brings us to the end of this class if you learn something from this video tutorial however simple it may be give the video a thumbs up again you have a better way of solving this drop it in the comment section so that all i must tv can equally learn from you thanks for being there bye until we see you in our next video keep winning